Could you show us how it looks to steal a car? I can show you inside your car. Oh, what? Here guys, this is what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Tommy G, and today I'm going boots on the ground, cover a notorious group of kids, the Kia Boys. These kids are legendary for the amount of cars they are stealing in Milwaukee. Just last year alone, they've stolen 10,000 cars, in particular, Kias and Hyundais. Let's roll the tape so I can show you what they do. Bro, look at these dumbass Kia Boys. Oh my God. Today we're gonna to be talking to the citizens of Milwaukee, getting their take on the Kia boys and the Kia boys themselves. Let's begin this story. I feel like a little bit of a war correspondent in my own city right now. I believe everybody has a heart. I really hope to find it in these Kia boys. Have you heard of the Kia boys? Have you heard of the Kia boys? Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't seen a lot of it on the news. Yeah, I've heard of the Kia boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that. How do you describe what the Kia boys do? I don't know, just get out their way, they hot. Yeah. They hot. They break into people's hard work cars and take them and destroy them. Now they just doing to destroy our city and this it's not right. If you were mayor of the city, what would you do about the Kia boys? Try to make a difference. You got to start making examples. The mayor, you know, he got his own car shot up, so he doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we need more police. I said some jump out boys and make, you know, undercover, get their asses in and clean up the city. <laughs> What if you were mayor of the city? What would you do? Lock their ass all up. If I was mayor, I would propose your first offense as a key boy, you have to do a thousand hours of trash cleanup. That don't help them no more, man. No? No. The world messed up now, man. What should the punishment be if you get caught stealing a car? Give them some time. Sit there. Two down. years, four years, ten years? A good 10, 20 years because that's hard earned cars. And we're good at what I'm driving because of the Kia boys. A Kia boy stole your car? Yes. You can't take the kids to school, can't make appointments, gotta call it to work. So it's tragic. It was sad and tragic. I cried. <laughs> was it a big financial hit to you? Definitely. Good time as an adult. Two years, ten years? Ten years. And keep his ass in there. What do you think should be done? I don't know. You gotta catch them niggas. They be going too fast. I don't know. Okay, how many years should someone get for robbing a car? Like, what's a fair punishment? I don't want to put a kid in jail for life, but I don't think it should be a slap on the wrist. I don't think so either. Um, I don't know. I can't say. Okay. I got boys, and if they go to jail, I feel bad. I'm 60 years old. I go out there and steal a couple of kids and try to rake and race and fuck up and kill somebody. They're going to give me 25 to life, player. If we were cellmates, I'd play chess with you. Thank you. I play. I love that game. Yeah. Player. Do you know anyone who has had a car stolen? Yes, that I work with. Do you know anyone that has gotten their car stolen? Yep. Multiple people or just one? Multiple people. Yeah, I have two or three friends who have some problems still that kind of thing. Guys, this is a man with multiple people in his circle that has had a car stolen. That is yeah. crazy. That's yeah, crazy to absolutely. think about. Yeah. If you had a message for the Kia boys, what would it be? Kill your good asses out. Stop ruining our city. Stop before you get killed or kill everybody else, man. Why you out there doing it? Stop doing it. Never see your family again fucking with somebody. Maybe if you work and do something for yourself, you will know what it is to have something instead of taking from people. Do you feel like there's hope for them in the future or do you think they're too far it's gone? For everybody. It's hope for any and everybody. You know, it is all depending on what you shift your mindset to. It makes me sad to see the Kia boys. Those are young kids doing they're all young this. young babies, man, but they don't like, they don't understand what they're doing. A three-year-old know when he's doing right or wrong. Let's say you were the mother of a Kia boy. What would you tell your son? I like his ass. He got a club. Yeah. <laughs> See guys, this is what I'm talking about. They gave these out for free because that's how much the Kia boys are doing work around here. We had multiple people that we interviewed in just a span of 15 minutes know somebody or themselves personally that had their car stolen by the Kia boys. That is fucking crazy. It's scary to think I'm going to meet somebody that seems to have no regard for human life. They will steal your car, all your shit just for a joyride. And their violence has been so notorious that the city of Milwaukee had to cancel a fucking basketball game watch party because these kids are so violent. What it do, bro? What up, big dog? I'm on your block. Shit, I'm on your block. All right, we're here, we're live. How you guys doing? What can you tell us about what we're about to see right now? Man, 
my little niggas finna hit the corner and go crazy. They How many Kia boys do you think there are in the city? Hundreds. Hundreds? There's Kia there. boys, Sonata boys. Are there any Chevy boys? I hope not, because I got a Chevy over here. It's a whole tutorial on how to do this shit on YouTube. If you see a nigga walking around with a charger like this, just know he's probably gonna steal your car. I'm Tommy G and I'm here with... Uh, my name's Sonny. <laughs> I'll call you Marvin the Accountant, okay? Alright. So Marvin, when did you start getting into the Kia business here? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Like, shit. Three summer ago, that's when it all started. Hot hey, and kids. Do you get nervous before you do that? Hell no. I'm gonna film you guys, but I don't think I'm gonna get into a car with you because I feel like I might die. <laughs> Are there Kia boys that have crashed a car and died? Yeah, the wildest thing I ever seen, somebody asked to drive and then they crashed. They flipped the car in less than 20 seconds. Hold this in front of your face while you talk. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll have to find something for you. Here, guys, this is what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> what percentage of Kia boys stay strapped when they ride around town? I ain't gonna lie, at least 60%, 60%, 70% always got guns. Do your moms know that you do this? Shit, she know I got a case for that shit. That's exactly, moms know I got a case for it. That, that's a what does she say? Does she tell you like, hey, you got, can't be doing this? Yeah, she tell me not to do it. I'll be listening to her too. I don't be doing Only got caught one time, so she, so she think I'm done. I don't condone this either, y'all. I tried to stop it, so. Yeah, what's your advice to these young guns out here? Man, stop doing that shit. Pick it back up, line your lines up, you buy your own car. Most of the people stealing cars as kids, so they get a slap on the wrist and get right, get right out. out. What up, big dog? How you doing? You got the Cartier's looking fresh, man. <laughs> Good to meet you. Bro? I'm Tommy G. What's going on? So have you heard of the Kia boys? Yeah, yeah. And to people that haven't heard about them before, how do you describe them? Shit, they Kia boys. Yeah, they do their thing on the real. Watch out for them, but I fuck with them, though. If I drive a Kia, should I be concerned? Oh, yeah, most definitely. They come to get that. What advice would you have? What would you want to say to a Kia boy? Man, shit. Be safe. Be safe. It's rough out here. Is this block about to get crazy or what? Hell yeah. What's the most daring or brave thing you've done in the car? He was out the sun roof driving. <laughs> Did you think you were going to die? Hell no. Are you scared of death? Shit, hell no. That shit gonna come. But maybe it can come a little bit later, not today when you're driving out of a sunroof, you know? Yeah, I ain't gonna crash. I got it. <laughs> if you had to guess, the average Kia boy out there, 30 cars, 50 cars, two cars. People be on sprees, because some people don't know how to drive, so they gotta steal so many cars because they run through them. Because they crash them? Yeah. I know people who got 200 car thefts, 300 car thefts. What? And are you scared of potentially ever going to jail? Do you ever think about that? No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm only scared of the black truck shit. Fuck the police. I ain't gonna lie. I'm only scared of the black truck. Other than that, fuck the police. Have you thought about how you would spend that time? Shit. You only gonna do like three weeks shit. It's a misdemeanor. You only do three weeks for stealing a car? Hell yeah, it's a misdemeanor shit. So is there really no punishment for this? Hell no. It's the high speed, that's when you get a felony. How old do you think the average Kia boy is? 12, 11. 12, 11? You know what I was doing when I was 11? I was catching frogs and shit. <laughs> uh oh, hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. What? Man, he ain't turned nothing up though, mm. but the car. Hey, what's that fat bitch trying to crash yeah. talking about? <laughs> what did we just see right now? Man, you just seen the smacking smackin ass, ass shit, nigga. That's what smacking ass shit, man. How fast do you think they were going? They tried to like eat burgers that motherfucker. Like 80 trying to eat burgers that motherfucker. So do you guys go to school or you just skip school and steal cars all day? I go to school for I go to sure. school. I need my education. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Shit, rich, shit, whatever comes with it. I mean, do you see yourself being an astronaut, a fireman, a mechanic? I ain't gonna Entrepreneur. I wanna do HVAC, I ain't gonna lie. HVAC? Dude, that's a really good profession. I feel like you guys would be perfect mechanics, you know what I mean? Like, you, you already are in the business of cars. Do you know that this city is scared shitless of this right now? Yeah, hell yeah. The whole city of Milwaukee is pooping their pants because of that shit like that. I feel like I need to move my car off the street. All right, guys, honest question, honest question. So if that car would have gone out of control and swerved and hit me and I died, what do you think should happen to the driver? Yeah, you should have got out the way. If the car hit me, it would have been my fault. Hell yeah, yeah. you should have ran. You seen that People know when the kid boys would, come through, get up out the way. Would you guys even have cried at my funeral and brought flowers or anything? I ain't got a lot to you. I don't even know you like, that much to, to, to be crying. But, but I, I'd, I'd be, be like, damn, bro, shit. I'd be like, damn, bro, I got exactly. out. I asked yeah. them if it hit me, they said it would be my fault. Yeah, they said shit, you should have got out the way. Listen, and that's the fucked up part because they dead serious. That's a fucked up mentality. It is, it is, and it's like, they don't got no sense of sympathy or nothing like no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could be stealing a single mom's car that if she misses that car, she gets evicted from her place and her whole family's life is fucked. People always say, 
You're supposed to offer them guidance and direction. How are you going to offer somebody that don't want nothing, that don't want to listen? What do you say to people that say, hey, they just need a better family structure, they need a male role model? I mean, that could be true in some cases, but some of these people have that. A lot of these kids, really good kids, but they followers. Mm. Property, a lot of kids really at home a, a lot by themselves. Mom's working second shift, trying to feed four or five kids so they at home 16 to 17 years old at home a, a boy gonna do what he want to i did i mean a lot of kids got good parents when you come outside you're gonna do what you right. want to do so you really can't blame it on the parents no young men like to push the boundaries yeah i think now with these cars they testing the boundaries of death almost they really are i mean that was crazy they could have driven through that car right there yeah, hell yeah they could have hit that curb and start flipping or anything should we check out the aftermath yeah let's go check it out all right bro. okay so we have to be ready if they swerve back around we have to hide dude because they're i don't trust these guys to drive properly all right so look see all these tire marks they swerved into someone's front yard look right here and right here 10 feet from the school we're gonna interview a lady that almost got hit are you okay how close to you did that come that was fucking crazy. That was wild. Some wild shit. Is that normal? Have you ever seen something like that before? Yeah, every day. Every day. That wild? Yup. Y'all got a hood pass courtesy of the mob. Gotta watch y'all because they're getting kind of treacherous over here. Dude, and I have a girlfriend I love very much I need to go home to. You gonna go home. Man. You She's my it. sweet cheeks, you know what I mean? She's <laughs> my sweet cheeks. What happened over there, man? Man, he was doing 80 and tried to eat break. Can't do that. The guy's on the fucking car. <laughs> Oh fuck, my car's up there. I don't want my car. You see people running for their life up there, dude? Did you see that? These kids are gonna fucking die. I'm getting scared watching it. I'm not even in the hey, car. Hey, y'all hey, hey. see that we Hot Wheels? We like the Hot Wheels on this bitch. You see how fast we put the tire on? That was crazy. Hot Wheels, man. You got some cojones, man, that's for sure. Hell yeah. Have yeah, you ever gotten yeah, to yeah, a police chase before? They can chase yeah. them. They can't. They can't chase because they, well, they can, but like after you're doing so much dangerous shit, they got to terminate it. You're a reckless man, you know that? <laughs> Are you ever sitting in the back of the car thinking, I really wish I wasn't here because this is scary as fuck? No, I don't drive in the back seat. If I'm in the joint, I'm in the front seat. So you're all, either you're driving or, or nothing? Yeah. I'm Mr. Me. Ebert. They call me Mr. Ebert. Where do you guys put these things? See, this is what you do. You ride through the hoods, you see a band of house. And then you see if they got an open garage, should the garage open parking it. Sometimes your car be there, sometimes you won't, shit. Hello, sir. How you doing? I hope UPS gives him an extra little kick for this route, because this is crazy. Sir, can I ask you another question, Professor Ebrake? How are you going to be an astronaut or an entrepreneur if you're getting yourself into trouble with these Kias? Shit, I don't even ride joints, shit. I ain't going to lie. Like, the only time I got in a stolen car, say, say if my boy called me, like, I got some fat. I'm like, damn, I got to drive that. I ain't drive that yet, so shit. Does being a Kia boy get you chicks? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Bitches suck your dick, you, get, you, you pull up in the joint. The bus just hit you. They hit a bus? Oh, really? Bro, can you put it on Hell speaker? Guys. How the bus hit you, bro? It's the thing that's that I'm trying to process right now. Like to me, this is completely crazy and wild. But to you, this is just what day is it? Tuesday, huh? Yeah, just another Tuesday another for you. Tuesday. So can you describe what you're doing right now? Oh shit, my, these motherfuckers in the system. They know these very well. Do you know any Kia boys that have been shot at while stealing a car? Yeah. You have friends that have gotten in trouble and are in the system right now or in jail right now? Yeah. There they go right uh -oh, there. Uh-oh, here we go. I ain't used to do no shit like that back in my day. See, and that's what I say, like, not, this not to shit, that extreme. This shit changed so much. Go, roll, roll, roll. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Hey, not the Chevy though, not the Chevy though. Don't hit the Chevy. Hold on. And this is why I need help on my Patreon. We're trying to take shit to the next level right now. We're doing more angles, more cuts, more scenes. We're on the block kind of doing dangerous shit. This is some wild shit, so um, Patreon link in bio. Every time they pass my car, I'm like, please not my car, please not my car. Okay. These kids is like a like fucking ping pong to them. That's how casual they are about stealing a car. Should we clear out of here? Yeah, they calling the police. Okay, shit's getting hot. Yeah, hell yeah. Y'all see I won't go smack that motherfucker. I told y'all. Bro, going dead. I'll tell you guys like this, all right? First, thanks for giving us a show. That was fucking something I've never seen before in person. <laughs> the other thing is, as like a big brother, I just hope that you guys stay okay, stay safe. I don't want to see anything bad happen to you guys, okay? Yeah. All right. Um, hey, yeah. make sure y'all blur out the plates. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because they had charged us with that shit. But I wish the best for you guys. I hope you stay safe. Or maybe you become a professional boxer. Maybe you become an astronaut. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you guys got any final thoughts or anything you want to say to the camera? Nope. What about to the people of Milwaukee out there? Man, stop hey, trying to crack joints down. Stay dangerous, man. Summer, bloody summer, man. Y'all, a lot of Jeez. niggas gonna die. It ain't meant for a lot of niggas. <laughs> No All right, guys, take care. That's it. That's the Kia boys. All right, let's get out of here before the cops come out. Fellas, I think it's time to skedaddle, as they say. Okay, good meeting you. Let's get out of here, okay? Yes,